Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get started building our very first trading station, I like the look uh, which will also be the, the start of the next but, uh, stage in the evolution. You're a nasty piece of work. Would you guys be quiet? I'm trying to talk right. to the people here. You're asking for it. <laughs> uh, the next stage in the evolution of our empire. Uh, so very excited to do this. Let's uh, let, let me get you caught up on a couple things real quick before we get started in earnest. However, um, so let's see. I have my fleet. My fleet is staged here in two grand at the gate, ready to mount their assault on fires of defeat. However, we are not going to do that in this episode. Uh, we will that that'll come later. Uh, but they are ready to go. They're all repaired, all restocked with repair drones on the destroyers and that sort of thing. So they're good to go. Um, Freighter 2 is in Brennan's Triumph and currently getting outfitted for um, Argon, or not Argon, I'm sorry, Terran Shields. So they haven't quite done that. And then I've queued up uh, some orders for them to grab a full load of haul parts on their way back and then come to us where we currently are. So the Incarcatura uh, is where... Uh, Incarcatura, I think that's how you do that, <laughs> is uh, working on that right now. Freighter 1 is currently um, grabbing some wares, or will be grabbing some wares, from Reaver Industries headquarters and bringing a load of that to us. So they're, they're going to get some energy cells, some hull parts, and some electronics over to us so we can get start started building and let's see we are sitting at 135.2 million in our wallet we haven't actually looked at our net worth in a while our net worth is 754.6 million so we're almost to that billion mark in our net worth which is really cool um let's check our logs here make sure no ships have been destroyed recently nope i didn't think any was because i don't remember getting the uh, the message but it's always good to check right okay so let's go back to here and we're going to get started now with uh building our very first trading station here in nopalios's fortune six okay so um in the last episode i, th I told you guys i was going to build the trading station below the gates but i got to think well that doesn't make sense uh we're just going to build it on the ecliptic plane but over off to the right a little bit of these gates and so what's going to happen uh the general plan anyways is for us to to put our trading station here somewhere around here we'll put our administration building which is what will allow us to actually own this sector and then we'll probably just continue building out this way in this area and if we get really big we might even start building to the quote unquote south uh, as we expand so that that's the kind of the plan at this point in time very good okay so we are aboard our builder ship at the Awaiting moment orders. and he's just kind of waiting for us to to put him to work so let's get started with that we're going to go into this menu we're going to click the manage plots menu and we're going to uh, I, I believe i want this plot size to be for what i have planned for it is Let's increase it to um, eight by eight. Yeah, so so basically an eight by eight by eight plot. I believe that'll work for what I have in mind. Okay, so let's create the plot. And we want to put it um just right about here ish i think we don't want to right up against the gates uh, because if this works out the way that i think it's going to work out we're going to have a lot of traffic here so we don't want you know traffic jams so let's move it you know over this way a little bit and it should be perfectly lined up to the north at this point and that should do what we need to do but what we're going to do is we're going to confirm that it works before we actually commit uh, okay, so the plot is facing those gates there. We're going to turn 180 degrees this way because we're going to work from this face of the plot. 
Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a 8M dock and we're going to plop that down here. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Like so. Okay. Um, we're going to put it Make sure that it's right in the center vertically, which I believe it already is, but let's just double check it. It should just be at zero, oh, whoops, zero meters right there. Okay, so it's perfectly in the center, vertically speaking, and that's where we want it to be. Now what we're going to do is let's just push it back a little bit. And two... Uh, okay, yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab a cross piece and plop a cross piece on that side and a cross piece on this side. Good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a, ver uh, a vertical two piece. And I believe we're going to need two of these and then one short vertical. Then we're going to put another cross piece here. Uh, no, I don't think we need that. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab the uh, the E dock and we're going to pop that there. Good. Um, no. Okay, actually, no. We're not going to do this, but this is what I will do later to expand this as needed. Um, so, so basically what we're going to do is we're actually going to put the E-Dock here to start with. And we don't need these for now. But it gives us room to expand both down and up with more e-docks if it turns out that we need more large ship stock in here. It just kind of depends on how how things go. Okay. And so if we're looking at this now, we should be able to bring this whole thing forward. Um, oh. There's supposed to be a way that I can move the whole thing all at once. But I'm not sure. Is it like, th yeah, there we go. Okay. So we can move that forward right about to there and then just back it off a little bit. Because there will be nothing further forward than the very ends of these docks here. Now, let's also make sure that this is smack dab in the center because I might have messed that up a little bit. All right, at zero meters. Perfect. Okay, good. So here again, um, we can expand both upward and downward as needed to add more e docks if it turns out that we need to do so later on. We might not. We'll see. All right, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to... You know, we don't, now that I'm looking at this too, we might not need this cross piece here. In fact, it looks like the E-Dock already comes with its own built-in cross piece. So yeah, I don't think we need this. Um, let's remove that. Oh, undo. I think that's good. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go add a luxury dock. And the reason I'm doing this, and we're going to also rotate it so that it's 90 degrees that way. Oh, wait a second. No, undo that. Uh, I want it. Yeah, I want it to stay that direction. Let's find the way it is. Uh, let's also pop another one here. And let's pop another one here. And let's pop another one here. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is because, if you didn't already know, this 8M standard dock does not allow 
um, small ships to dock. Uh, so each one of these allows six small ships. So basically we, we have now room for 24 small ships to dock. Uh, couriers in particular, because I'm expecting that we'll probably have a lot of couriers coming in and out of the station. So we've got to definitely have, you know, give them a small ship area. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the medium and put another medium on that side and another medium on that side because medium ships are probably going to be our our most you know our biggest customers all right so now that gives us 24 uh plus 12 so basically 36 so there's 36 medium slots for ships to dock here which i'm guessing is probably going to be plenty okay good now next step here Awaiting orders is i think we could probably remove this cross piece and what we're going to do instead is we're going to put a uh just a short base piece here let's rotate it 90 degrees pop that in place there now let's put a cross piece in and we're going to grab and we're going to put to start off with we're going to put in four large container storages with plenty of room to expand in the future if we need to do so. Um, so let's pop that in there like so. Yeah, it's really close, but it's it'll work. And then we're going to copy this module, put it there, but we're going to flip it around this way. Whoops. Okay, hold on a second. There we go. Okay, so we got that in. Um, now we're going to add a vertical under here. I'm going to put a cross piece there. We're going to copy this module and copy this module. Nope, that's not where, there. Yep, that's where I want you. Okay, and then, of course, here again, if it turns out that we're going to need more, ultimately need more storage, uh, we have lots of room to expand up and down as needed. In fact, you know, I'm probably making this plot t deeper this way than I really need to, but that's okay. It's better to have a little more than you need than not enough. I have no idea how this trading station is going to go in terms of, you know, what it's going to need for capacity and stuff like that. So it's, it'll just be good to, to have options as we expand. If we do end up needing to put in more large storage, then the next set, of course, will go up. And so that way we can kind of, you know, keep things symmetrical, symmetrical as we go along. Very good. Okay, so I think we're good with this. So let's confirm our module changes. Let's assign our builder uh, to to this. He's just been waiting in the wings, ready to go. And now we're going to hop out of the build menu. Uh, those are the resources that we're going to need. Uh, let's hop out of the build menu. And we should have our freighter one coming in very quickly where's freighter one uh, right here well it doesn't look like freighter one is, has actually loaded up on stuff yet where is he at he's in the process uh, well, I guess he's getting ready to dock Looks like he's backing away from the dock. But he doesn't... Okay, now he's going into dock. Or she, rather. Actually, that's a, a female pilot. She's going into dock. Okay, so she's just about ready to pick that stuff up and then bring it over here to Nopalios. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here, guys. And when the freighter gets over here and starts unloading the goods... 
I'll bring you back at that point and we can start watching the construction of our very first trading station. I am so excited. I hope you guys are too. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, the Inn Carcachua is Aries. just about ready to dock with the build storage. And then what will happen is it will start sending the cargo drones into the build storage to, to start unloading. There it goes. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. I love that. So they go in, they drop off the stuff, and they come back out and get another load and keep unloading until all the goods are in there. So these are like little skids almost, if you will. Little anti-grav squids. Uh, squids. <laughs> skids. And when they come back, you can see that they got the containers of materials on them. And is that it? That seemed... That, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's proportionate to the size of this ship and all the stuff it had on it, but, you know, whatever. Okay, very cool. So, theoretically, oh, no, nope, never mind. They're coming with more stuff. Okay, I was going to say, that seemed awfully fast. That seemed awfully fast. So, it looks like they use five cargo drones at a time. I know the in Carcacho has a lot more than just five cargo drones on it, but, and maybe, you know, maybe they're queuing them up inside, too. I don't know. But that's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and fly over to here uh, where the first dock will be built. We should see... Here we go. It does start to kind of put it together over here. Oh, is it going to... Is it going to build the pier first? That doesn't really matter, I guess. No, I, it should build the dock first, because isn't that the first thing that we... we laid down? No, that's the pier. Okay. Well, anyway, it'll become obvious once things get started as to what's going to be built first. But pretty soon we should see this start to come together and we should see the drones building it and so on. So let's just kind of watch for a bit and, and see what happens here. Factory. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to put it together, but I don't see the drones. Um, so that's probably a minor bug, I'm thinking. I guess it is building the pier first. How interesting. If we go into here... Yep, the pier is actually the first thing... At the top of the list, how? Excuse me. Um, okay, that's not a problem at, at all. It's just maybe it's because of, of the order that it goes back this way. What is weird, though, is I don't see any any drones. We should be seeing the drones putting this together. I wonder if I hop out of sector and then back in, in sector, if that'll make the drones appear. That's probably what it is. So let's just make sure that our scout ship doesn't have any other orders. Uh, yeah, remove the dock and wait, and then it's that hold position. Okay, let's hop out of sector for just a moment. Doesn't really matter where we go, just any of our ships that are elsewhere, or we could even just, uh, we can even just teleport to our headquarters. Okay, now Entering system, Grand Exchange. Teleport back to Scout 1.
Pegasus entering system. Nobilia's fortune. And okay, do we see drones now? Yeah, there they are. They're working now. Okay, so that was probably just a had something to do with me being in sector or something. But we can now see the drones working. Uh, the in uh, Carcachua is going back to headquarters to get another load of hull parts and coming back this way. So very cool. It is underway, ladies and gentlemen. Our very first trading station and the next phase in the building of our empire. And it's a wonderful thing. Yes, indeed. Okay, I will bring you back uh, with another update here in just a little bit. All right, guys, um, the e -pier dock is done and the first medium ship dock is just about finished here. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into here and we're going to assign a manager to our factory. And actually, we're going to rename it as well. Uh, so what we're going to call our first... Do we have a pirate harassing us here? Somewhere, somehow? Hold on a sec. Let's remove Seta. I don't see a pirate anywhere. Yeah, I don't know where, where that came from. Uh, anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to rename this and we're going to call it RI for Reaver Industries Trading Station. Okay. Um, as we build more trading stations later on, which is the plan, I'll have to come up with a naming convention. But since this is the first and only one we have at the moment, we're just going to call it RI Trading Station. Very good. Now, it needs a manager. So what we're going to do is go over to our personnel tab here. We're going to select managers. And from what I understand, Trading stations are a really good way to level up a manager. I was originally going to put Hurilis Hurilis there, but he's already a five-star manager. Um, and so I'm just going to keep him at Reaver Industries head, uh, headquarters for now and have him continue making us a crap ton of money, which is what he's doing. Uh, so let's check, uh, grab the next manager that's not a captain. Um, we do have this guy, Desudris... Cecilis Luglegas <laughs> at our defense platform. I don't know that we really need to keep him there, actually. I put him there originally so he could stock the place, you know, with supplies for, for repairs and whatnot. But we could probably go ahead and actually move him over to the trading station now. Um, before we do that, though, let's look at the defense platform. Um, it should have, yeah, see, it's loaded up with all of the stuff that it needs for repairing. So, yeah, I don't think we need him there anymore. And if this starts getting low again, you know, we can deal with it later on. So let's go ahead and grab him. And we're going to tell you to work or Reaver Industries trading station as our new manager. And, you know, from a role-playing perspective, it makes sense to use Talati as managers because, you know, they're just, they have the business acumen. I know it doesn't actually matter. It's based upon the, the stars that these guys have. But, I don't know, it just feels right to have a Talati managing our station. So, uh, I'm not saying we'll, we'll never use another race, but will probably favor Talati for that reason alone. Very good. Okay, so these drones are now uh, working on the first dock, uh, luxury dock, which will allow also small ships to dock. While they're doing that, what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to assign our freighters, at least temporarily, to this tra trading station, and we're going to have them trade for Commander's Build Storage. Uh, let's also do the same thing with Freighter 1. 
Uh, freighter one is not assigned to anybody. All right, so let's go ahead and have him also ready for commander's build storage. Oh, wait a second. Did I just... Hold on a sec. Alpha group. It's freighter one. Waiting for build storage. What did I just do with tr with trader uh, freighter two? Nothing. Okay, I don't know. I'm I'm confused. <laughs> anyway, we want to trade for commander's build storage, and he should now pop into alpha group in a second here. Uh, maybe. Dude, what the hell? Hold on a second. Let's look at his undock where exchange. Assigned to new commander. All right. You know what? Let's remove all orders and assignments. Now, trade for commander's build storage in alpha. It looks looks like he's or she rather is stuck in an undock command maybe Okay, why don't I Well, here, let's do this. Let's go to here. And I'm going to give our manager some money. And I'm going to hop out of sector for a minute. Because I think Trader 2 might be stuck on an undock command. Maybe. I don't know. Something's weird. Because it's not... I actually told that ship to undock a long time ago, even before I started recording, and it still seems to be stuck. So let's just teleport over to Reaver Industries. Okay. Now, Freighter system. 2 Brand exchange. should be undocking. They still have a bunch of hull parts, though. But I'm going to let the manager handle handle it. There. Okay. So it just undocked and now it, it added to the group. So theoretically, the manager should now tell it to redock and drop off those hull parts. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay, so we've got the two freighters assigned to Reaver Industries Trading Station. Again, I don't think we need a manager here. We do have a ship assigned here, but it's like not even doing anything. It's stuck on a can't find trades thingy. So I think what we'll do with this guy is let's also assign him or her, as the case may be, to the trading station for the for the nonce. And once the trading station is completely built, then I'm going to switch all of these guys over to... Well, actually, I'm probably going to use them to start bringing in materials for the next build is what I'm probably going to do. But for now, we'll just keep them assigned to the build storage. Okay. So, let's uh, teleport back to Scout 1. Entering system. Nopalias Fortune. Nopalias. Very good. Okay, so it looks like they just about have that next dock done and we'll then continue on from here so guys i think what we're going to do here is we're going to wrap up the episode and 
I will bring you back in the next episode when this trading station is completely constructed. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll set up its wares and its rules and all that kind of thing and then go from there. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.